In 2015, Mr. Williams, you gave a speech, and you said that the modern judicial system today is more racist than it was 100 years ago. Did you say that? Uh, thank you for the question, Senator. You're welcome. Uh, uh, I don't believe that's the uh, specific quote that I said. Uh, I believe you're referring well, let, let to- me, Let me read you the quote so there won't be any misunderstanding. Becoming a felon is more devastating today than when existed during Jim, Pro, Jim Crow. And you were, you were talking about the uh, judicial system uh, in Delaware. Thank you for the question, Senator. You're welcome. I made those comments as uh, co-chair of the Access to Justice Commission, which was a commission that was created by the Delaware Supreme Court. Yes, sir. But, uh, that but I was asked. Tell to, me what the, you meant. The chair. I, I know. So, what, I read the uh, uh, the interview. I, tell me what you meant. I was referring to uh, a description uh, that. Uh, others uh, have made uh, to describe the condition of felons in terms of uh, the term Jim Crow, meaning... Well, well, let, me, let me stop you. Do you believe that the judicial system in Delaware in America is more racist today than it was 100 years ago? Uh, thank you for the question, Senator. You're uh, uh, no, I do not believe that the system today is more racist than it was 100 years ago. Uh, what I was describing was the... Uh, well, but, but why did you say becoming a felon is more devastating today than when it existed during Jim Crow? Uh, I was referring to the conditions of, of, of the inordinate uh, amount of people of color who, when they become felons, uh, are, are faced with loss of economic opportunity, uh, loss of voting rights, uh, loss of driving license, loss but of But that happens housing. to an Hispanic How, as well, right? Uh, it happens to... If you're convicted. It, it happens to everyone who becomes a felon. But the, 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 the task of the committee was to examine uh, the reasons why there are such glaring racial disparities in the population of people of color in Delaware as compared to and you the think population you, you think of, that's of because people of racism? incarcerated. You think that's because of racism? Uh, I did not uh, say. Uh, my, I, I know. That, I'm that, asking that, you, do you think that's because of racism? I believe that uh, race plays a factor. In uh, Delaware? Uh, 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 across, in, 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 across uh, the, in Delaware and beyond, uh, and that uh, uh, studies have shown that uh, uh, there is a uh, disparity uh, in the prison population that just can't be explained by uh, just nature and it be coincidence and that race plays some factor. It's not the only factor. Right. Uh, economic uh, condition, money, ability to pay bail, et cetera, plays a factor, and some other things play a factor. Uh, so at that time, I was serving as right. well, chair. Let me stop that, you because my, my chairman here has been very, very uh, uh, indulgent. I'm going to ask you one last question. Um, do, do you think uh, uh, photo IDs, requiring a photo ID to vote is in inappropriate? Uh, thank you for the question, Senator. Uh, the Supreme Court has held that uh, voter IDs right. uh, requirement for voting what do you per think? is permissible. What do you think? Uh, I, Senator, uh, follow binding Supreme Court precedent. Yeah, uh, but what do you think? Uh, You've written articles saying that, that that's racist, haven't you? I have not. Okay. I have not. Well, you've went, written articles opposing voter ID, have you not? I have not. Okay. So you think it's okay? I do. Okay. That's all I got. Thanks, Mr. Chairman. Thanks for your indulgence.